Hi everyone! Welcome back. Today I'm going to do some garden cleanup and I figured I would take you along, show you a little bit of what I'm doing. So I'm just cleaning out the vegetable garden today. I have like a handful of things left. Um, and then putting down a layer of manure and compost to help kind of put some nutrients back into the soil. I did do a soil test this summer. Uh, it's a little light on nitrogen. So trying to put some of that back into the soil so next year it's ready to go. We have a pretty long winter up here in northern New York where I live, so just enjoying the fact that it's still a sunny, cool, yet not cold day in November. Um, I'm tucked up here against the house because it's really, really windy here. Um, I live in the Tug Hill region of New York, of northern upstate New York, in the middle of a wind farm, a windmill farm, so it's windy. There's a reason they put them here. So join me today as I clean up the garden a little bit and put some compost on it. This is our garden space. Uh, it's 50 feet by 25 feet. So pretty long distance. Um, this is where we grew everything this last year. I had glads, tomatoes, lettuce, kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower, peas, potatoes, onions, cucumbers, squash, cabbage, celery, beans. I think that's everything. I had a whole list of things um, that we were able to grow. So actually from this cattle panel here, this is where I had tomatoes and then everything that way was all food. Um, and then up here, these three rows were actually all flowers. I had two and a third row of lads. I had a little section of zinnias and then my caladiums that are still here that I need to get cleaned out. So, and that's kind of what today is. I'm gonna clean out, bring some stuff up from the manure pile, the compost pile, put it on kind of these mounds. So, my garden is an in-ground garden. Um, it was part of this hay field here. We tilled it up this year, put down some fertilizer, got a soil test, it is pretty deficient in nitrogen, so um, working on building that back into the soil, but everything grew pretty good. I did have to add a lot of nitrogen to the soil for the Brussels sprouts to grow, but I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. We've been eating off of a lot of Brussels sprouts, so 